I'm proud to announce uh, this uh, data, which give us uh, a hope in such a disease, such a serious and difficult disease like ALS. These two ALS clinical trials, which began in uh, 2011 at Adassa Medical Organization in Jerusalem, utilized an innovative adult stem cell self-transplantation involving, first of all, the harvesting of stem cells from the patient's bone marrow, and then their culture and enhancement using Brainstorm's patented protocol. These enhanced mesenchymal stem cells, which are called neuron, were then injected into the patient's cerebrospinal fluid by a technique that was developed and proposed by us. In total, in these two trials, 26 ALS patients participated. All of them had progressive disease during the months preceding the study and a significant neurological disability which involved the motor function, the respiratory function, and the ability to speak and swallow. The mean age of our patients was 48 years. In these two open label studies, intrathecal or intramuscular injection of autologous mesenchymal stem cells modified neuron cells was found to be safe and well tolerated over the study period without any serious adverse events related to the treatment. Despite the fact that the primary aim of our study was to evaluate the safety of the procedure, we did observe very impressive clinical effects in various parameters of the disease, providing strong indications of a clinically meaningful beneficial effect. Close to 90% of our patients who were injected intrathecally were defined as responders, having an improvement of at least 25% in the rate of progression of either the respiratory function or their general motor disability. In some of the patients, the disease not only stopped progressing, but there was a noticeable improvement in their neurological functions. The most compelling story was that of a 22 years old Israeli soldier who was diagnosed with ALS during his army service and had a very fast progression of the disease. Following the stem cell treatment, the disease completely stopped progressing and he had a significant improvement in many of his functions, including his ability to speak and his motor function of the hands. This improvement lasted for at least one year, and then he received an additional treatment on a compensionate basis, resulting in a similar beneficial effect. The interpretation of data from rather small and open studies were aware that it's complicated, but for a disease such as ALS, where there is no treatment and the disease goes only down, deteriorating, I believe that the observed modification of the clinical course is beyond the range, the range of any putative placebo effect. While our study cannot yet provide the proof of a cure, it is the first step in a long process which we anticipate will lead to a successful treatment of ALS. Moreover, I believe that we are in the beginning of a new era in the field of regenerative medicine for the central nervous system in general, with relevance to many similar diseases of the brain, such as Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, stroke, and spinal trauma. In parallel to our study, another double-blind uh, based, double blind uh, trial uh, based on the same uh, Hadassah protocol and brainstorm stem cell protocol is being conducted at Mayo Clinic, Mass General, and the University of Massachusetts with our close collaboration and consultancy. Thank you. I really don't have too much to add after what Professor Caruso has just explained. Brainstorm is very proud to be a pioneer in the testing and development of stem cell transplantation treatment in ALS and in other neurodegenerative diseases. The company holds the rights to develop and commercialize its neuron technology. Following the results of our second phase trial, published today online by JAMA Neurology, Brainstorm looks forward to the results 
of the U.S. double-blinded trials, as well as the start of a multiple-dose trial at Adassa Medical Center in Jerusalem to help us prove the efficacy of this innovative new treatment. We have wonderful results and still need larger populations in the coming trials to further prove our current findings. We'd like to thank Professor Karousis for being our principal investigator in this trials in Israel, phase one and phase two published today in JAMA, and hopefully we will have one day uh, an approved treatment for ALS patients, as well as uh, being able to bring solutions for other neurodegenerative diseases through this special innovative treatments. Thank you very much. I'm here today to tell you why all of these exciting things are taking place at Hadassah Medical Organization in Israel. Hadassah represents over 330,000 members, associates, and supporters worldwide, embodying the power of women who do. Hadassah brings people together globally to effect change and advocate on medical care and research. Hadassah Medical Organization presents a unique bench-to-bedside setting. Hadassah doctors are both physicians and scientists who are in the forefront of medical research, teaching, and healing. As HMO chair, I have seen for myself that HMO, the patient's bed, is just steps away from the laboratory bench. Through the Hadassah Medical Organization's two hospitals, the world-renowned trauma center, and the leading research facility in Jerusalem, Hadassah supports the delivery of exemplary patient care to over a million patients annually. HMO serves without regard to race, religion, or nationality. HMO earned a 2005 <clears throat> Nobel Peace Prize nomination for building bridges to peace through equality of medical treatment. Hadassah, the Women's Zionist Organization of America, is proud and pleased to support the neurologic research and world-class patient care of Dr. Karousis and his many colleagues at the Hadassah Medical Organization. Thank you.